Hello and welcome to the very first Adorable Knits podcast. To be honest, I'm um, quite nervous about doing this, but I think the time is right. So please be kind with me on this first podcasting experience. If you have any tips or suggestions, you can always uh, share them with me. I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Dorothy, the face and designer behind Adorable Knits. Um, I'm a Belgian knitwear designer. I live in Antwerp with my wonderful husband and my two um, beautiful girls, René, who's eight years old, and Gabriella, who's six, and he will turn seven next month. Um, I used to be an interior architect for over 15 years, um, which I loved doing. But um, last April, I decided to jump and become a full-time knitwear designer. So um, it's quite stressful, to be honest. Um, a lot of doubts, uh, a lot of insecurity, but also a lot of happiness because I'm doing what I love doing most which is designing knitwear. So, um, yeah, good things are happening. I've always been a designer, um, of course, but now instead of uh, designing the interior of big buildings, I can completely focus on my own little creative world, world of yarn. Um, I haven't been knitting for that long, actually. I started four, four and a half years ago, um, but I haven't stopped since. And uh, I started with knitting a lot of patterns of other designers, um, but I quickly realized that I um, wanted to design my own things. And I started little with uh, little knitwear accessories such as scrunchies and headbands and stuff and then soon after I designed my first sweater and I think it's been released three years ago now it's the lazy Sunday sweater it's a chunky color block sweater for uh, adults um, and it's still one of my favorite designs till this day so yeah Still very proud of it um, and it also exists for kids um, I always design uh, for adults and most of the time the same design um, will also be released for kids I kind of like that you have the same design for uh, adults and kids at the same time so you can start winning with your kids. Um, my plan for this uh, YouTube, YouTube channel is to share knitting podcasts, but also um, instruction videos, tutorials about my patterns um, or the techniques that I use in my patterns. Um, and in the knitting podcast, I will talk about um, a pattern release or current designs or future plans um, so yeah you can expect more videos of me at least that's the plan um, and today I will talk about um, a couple of designs I just released um, a pattern actually my Gabriella T which is named after my daughter um, and I'm wearing it now it's a little tee with lacy details on the sleeves and on the sides. Um, and it was a very successful um, release. Um, my best release so far, actually, so I'm very happy. Um, I had a, a group of wonderful test meters from around the world who made beautiful teas, so be sure to um, to check them out online on Instagram. Um, I've made two versions of it. 
the black one. This one is in cashmere, um, cashmere lace from Gepard Garn, um, which they were so kind to gift me. So it's probably the most soft and um, luxurious and delicate yarn I've ever worked with. It's absolutely gorgeous. The drape is fantastic and it's a dream. So I'm very happy. I've also made, um, I don't know if you can tell, I've made another one in uh, hand tied organic fingering um, merino from Olivia and Oliver Fibers, um, which is absolutely gorgeous, I think. The color is just fantastic. And then with the details on the side, um, I, I don't know. Maybe, oh. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, so this is the one for women. And I've also made one for kids. This is also in hand dyed uh, merino from um, Olivia and Oliver fibers. My girls wanted them cropped because that's the thing little girls of now want, apparently. And this is the other one, also in hand dyed merino from Ladybug yarn. Um, so it has lacy sleeves and I cord details um, for the edgings. So the kids version is available from size two years until 12. And the uh, Gabriella T for women is available from an uh, extra small uh, up to a five XL. So many possibilities. Um, it's also available in English, um, Dutch, Danish and German will come soon. So um, be sure to check it out. And then I'm working on another design at the moment. I actually just launched um, a test knit for a next design, which started early this week on Monday for the Mila sweater junior with which is a simple sweater drop shoulder but with very nice details on the shoulders and like uh, a nice detail for the for the neck um, all ribbing is made in double twisted rib um, and this one is made with uh, Mayo Karen, the Tweet Supreme, which they sponsored. And it's a fantastic yarn to work with, really. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but it has like little colored specks. So beautiful. And it's it gets super soft when you block it. So this will probably be a uh, the favorite sweater of this year for my kids. This is a eight year old size. I am um, gonna make a 12 year old, which is longer and has splits on the side. And I will make uh, a tutorial for that one too. I'm sorry for the sun, but uh, it's still Indian summer here in Belgium. So I'm enjoying every second of it. Um, I'll show you the Mila for adults. So this one is the one I'm currently working on. It's made um, with Hamilton Tweed 2 from BC Garam. And it's held together with um, baby silk fluffy solid from Kremke. So this one is the first version I made. 
um, with a, a nice high collar in double twisted rip and it has the same details for the shoulders which I like so it's just a simple chunky knit um, one of my followers called it a big bear hug of a sweater which is quite right I think so I'm now I'm working on the second version of it in this black and gray combo these um, I really love the combination of this yarn this was also sponsored by um, soul wool um, from Germany and the one thing about it about this color combo is that you can't really um, see the detailing that good anymore but when I wear it it's just gorgeous this is gonna be a sweater that I will probably live in for the entire winter this year and I'm gonna do a high neckline in a double twisted rib uh, similar to the junior version so with the curled up detail I think I'm gonna try it so that you have the two options in the pattern and this one will also be the longer version so the pattern comes in two lengths a normal size um, with ribbing that runs through and then um, a longer size with splits on the side and then um, the back piece will be a bit longer so like just uh, yeah like my follower wool sniffer she's called she's one of my VIP test knitters the big bear hug sweater that was probably a good name too um, I'm also working on the Palisandro collection which is uh, a collection I've been working on for some time already um, it's a collection of bags I just finished my Palisandro purse which is just I love it so it's a color work um, border and then I'm using the uh, teddy deer from Gepard and um, color work stripes in Wulia from Gepard too um, and I'm using like fantastic accessories which will be available in their next collection from Mood um, so that's the purse and I'm going to make a collar bomb uh, tote bag with this yarn combo. So very colorful, just like a little bag of happiness. I already cast it on, but didn't get any further than that point. And then with all these gorgeous colors from the Wulia, just wow so that's on the planning and then I'm also making a shopper version using these colors so also the teddy there in different colors like this and neutral, like a more neutral color palette. And then I will be using this from Bude. Um You have them in two types, D and F. Um, so the rectangular and the round one. I'm also working on the round version for um, 
a project bag but still working on details so that will come out later so the palisandro will be available uh, available in a purse pattern the tote bag the shopper and then at a later time the project bag um the test need is already is already been decided so that will be running somewhere in november so i'm hoping that the pattern for the purse and the tote bag will be out in um, somewhere in december maybe um, the mila junior sweater so this one will come out in november and i'm hoping that the adult version um, can be released somewhere in december um so i'm still working on the pattern and the test needs will start somewhere uh, in november i always do uh, or, or i mostly uh, do an official call for test needers online on my instagram um, so if you would like to join one uh, just uh, yeah check my instagram for test knitting calls and then you can find all the info that's needed to um, to apply and I always have a, a, a mix of um, my VIP test needers um, these are people that I've been working with since the beginning of my designing um, adventure um, there are a couple of them which have tested almost every design, I think, such as uh, Nathalie from Nitali and uh, Wool Sniffer, with, who I mentioned already. Um, and then you have Sandrine. Yeah, so just a couple of them um, who I love to work with and who also became knitting friends, online friends. So it's very, very nice. It, this is such a warm community and uh, I love to be part of it. So it's fantastic. Um, I have more plans. I'm going to uh, work on a tutorial of my Gloria sweater. Um, it's a textured sweater. Uh, I, can, I can find it here. I'm not prepared, I'm sorry. Uh, so, this is the junior version of my Gloria. And it's a beautiful textured sweater with a um, twisted rib, um, which uh, is very popular too so I'll be making uh, a lilac version in this uh, betanit wolpaka which I bought um, in a local yarn shop Gabriel handmade and I'll be using this to make um, yeah, the first actual knitting tutorial of a design of mine so i'll be filming every step of the knitting process and share with share it with you at a later time um, and i'm also working on the adult version of the gloria and for those of you who have been following me online on instagram well, they know that it's been a process. Um, I also call her my nemesis because it's taking me forever to finish this design. So I decided to make two versions of it. A winter uh, edition with a high collar, a turtleneck. So that's the process of it. And with details on the side. Um, so this is the winter edition and I'm using oops, this gorgeous yarn that Lang Yarns gifted me. 
Um, and I'll also make um, a v-neck uh, in between season or all year. Um, yeah, an all year edition. So, but that's coming later. Um, and then I will also make um, the second version of the Miller sweater in this gorgeous color. Look, the little specks. I don't know why it. Um, from Mayo. I don't know if you already know Mayo Garn, but it's it's gorgeous. They have like the perfect color palette, such beautiful colors. So that's on my to-do list too. And then another design that's coming. Uh, a couple of years ago, I made like a spontaneous design. I'm obsessed with textures, so I started swatching and um, I had some scrap yarn which I used for this little thing. It's the Renee sweater, also named after my daughter. Um, but this one is too small and um, it's made out of scrap yarn and I want just one in one color. Um, so this design is actually already available for women. I'll show it. This is the Rene for women. It has beautiful details, the ribs. The ribbing is with the uh, with twists, and then you have the same detail on the side that runs through, and also on the sleeves. Uh, with a, the same here. So um I'm worried. I'm gonna make this one for kids. Voila. Still love it. Absolutely love the details. So that's on my to do list. I have been looking, searching for yarn. This one was made with a um, hip wool, if I remember correctly, from hip, niche, hip, nip, hip knit shop. Um, but it's not easy to get it here in Belgium um, because it's from Norway, I think. And then you have to pay a lot of taxes to get it here. So I was looking for um, an alternative. And now I have found it, I think. I'll be using this one. Look, it's incredibly soft, super squishy. It's really a gorgeous yarn. So my kids could choose um, the color they wanted. The beige one was chosen by Renee, my eldest daughter, and then my youngest daughter. She chose this color. So that's on my to-do list too. I don't know how I'm gonna do them all, but I'm gonna try. So I'll start, as said, with the Mila Junior. Then it's the Mila Adult. Then it's the Palisandro collection. And then it's the Gloria Winter Edition. So um, a lot of designs are coming up, a lot of test needs too. So again, if you're interested, just uh, check my Instagram. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, I'll try to uh, incorporate some um, pictures and videos of the designs I talked about at the end here. And um, if you have any questions or suggestions or things I really need to work on here, 
um, please share. This is my first um, episode, episode as said, so be kind. I'm, um, this is jumping into the dark for me. I'm a very, uh, I'm an introvert, so um, way out of my comfort zone here, but still happy that I'm doing it. So um, if you liked it, like it, the video, and you can always subscribe. Apparently that's something you need to do here on YouTube. Um, and yeah, we'll talk next time. See you.